All right, so while everybody is uh, coming into our workout, welcome. My name is Caroline, this is Feature Friday. We're gonna be doing a 50 minute workout today that includes uh, the main portion of it as a 40 minute power pyramid. And I'll explain a little bit more about what that means momentarily. Um, but before I begin, I would like to read off a disclaimer um, since you are about to work out. Um, so our disclaimer goes like this. If you choose to exercise on any platform with Boston College and its affiliates, you do so at your own risk and acknowledge that there is an innate risk of injury when participating in any physical activity. Participation is voluntary and practice in a safe space suitable for this activity. Some practices may not be safe under certain medical conditions. You agree to consult a doctor if you have any medical concerns. If you experience any physical or emotional pain or discomfort, you will listen to your body. Adjust the practice and ask for support from a medical provider. You hereby agree to irrevocably release and waive any claims that have now or hereafter may have against Boston College and its affiliates. You have read this disclaimer or listened and have acknowledged it prior to participating in any activity. Um, there is a corresponding playlist for our workout today. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance to pull that playlist up in Spotify, I'm gonna put the link to it in the chat. Um, I'm gonna be listening to the music through my AirPods. Um, so if you wanna listen to the same exact music as me, if you open up that chat window, you'll see I just popped a Spotify link in there and that's the same exact playlist I will be listening to throughout class. Um, before we begin, I just wanna remind everybody that all you need for this workout is a mat, your own body weight, and some water nearby. Please take breaks as you need them. Um, you know, listen to your body. Just like the disclaimer said, if you want to take more rest than I'm offering, take more rest. All right. This is your workout today. Happy Friday. And we are going to get started. I'm going to um, count us down into the playlist. So if you have that Spotify link pulled up, I'll give you a countdown so we can start at the same time. So we're going to start with the song Angels on that playlist. And we're going to press play in three, two, one, let's go. So starting with your warm up here, we're gonna start on our mats, standing feet outside of hip width, and you're gonna take some arm circles forward. So it's small circles to start, getting bigger with each rotation. We're just opening up our shoulders here to start out our workout. Hitting some full circles forward and then start to go back. So small circles backwards, get bigger with each rotation. Straight arms, strong upper body. Hitting full circles back here. And now swing your arms front to back to open up your chest. Feeling the squeeze of the shoulder blades behind the back when the arms go behind. We're gonna march our knees to our chest in three, two, one. March your knees to your chest, bringing your knee up as high as you can. So squeeze your quads towards your chest. And then cactus your arms to the side at the upper body twist. Can you bring your elbow across the body to the opposite knee, getting deep into the obliques? For four, three, two, one more. Now open the gate. Swing the knee away from the midline of the body. It's a really big motion here. Finding 90 degrees at the knee. Take one more at each side and then reverse directions. Close the gate. Find your balance. Nice stable foot on the floor. On deck, we have some jumping jacks. You can step them or jump. In four, three, two, one, jumping jacks. So jumping those jacks or stepping one foot at a time. So take the level that works for you. Coming up, we have squats. Stay with me here for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your feet outside of hip width. Squat, rise, squat, rise. So as we're warming up here, that butt just getting to knee height. See if you can get a little bit lower with every squat. Coming up, we'll pulse it low in four, three, two, one, now pulse low, sink into this. Finding that full range, keep your chest up, shoulders back. Sit the hips behind you. On deck, we're gonna go down to a high plank on the hands. In four, three, two, one. Finding high plank. 
Plant your hands, fingers spread wide. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. Slow mountain climb. Left knee, right knee. Left and right. Keep your butt low. An option, can you speed this up? Little push here to finish your warm up. Fast or slow. For five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's take a look at our pyramid for today. We have eight movements. The way a pyramid works, we have eight levels. We go up, adding one move at a time, and then we come back down, taking off one move at a time. I'm gonna show you all eight. So right now, this is your opportunity. Grab some water, but stay warm. Maybe you're jogging in place. Maybe you're just moving side to side, doing a little bit of step. Keep your body moving, keep the heart rate elevated. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each move. 30 seconds of rest between levels, and each level gets a little bit longer as you add moves on. First movement, eight high knees, eight butt kickers. Looks like this, I'll show from the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight butt kickers. Lean back in high knees, lean forward in butt kickers. Option, just high knees or just butt kickers, or you can put the two together, your choice. Just high knees will level it up, just butt kickers levels down. Your next movement, twisted prisoner squats. Prisoner squats, hands behind the head, elbows wide, feet outside your hips. You squat, twist, squat, twist. Bring the opposite elbow across the body and lift the knee. Option, you can turn this into a jumping twisted prisoner squat or keep your feet flat to the ground. Third movement, crescent lunge to a plank switch. Crescent lunge. From yoga, take a long lunge back, sink deep, arms lift, chest is up. We're gonna take that crescent lunge, plant the hands, switch out our feet. Crescent lunge, arms up, plant, switch out your feet. Option to level it up, the feet switch is a hop instead of a step. So take the level that works for you, sink low. Fourth movement. Heel turn, plie squat pulse. Plie squat, feet wide, toes to the corners, hands at your chest. You're gonna sink low, turn your heels to the front, to the side, front, side. You're turning on your heels. If you wanna level it up, every three turns, jump squats. If you wanna level this down, you have the option to take three heel turns, one air squat. So your choice, it can just be pulsing, or add in some squats to it. Next move, a kick through burpee. I'll show this from the side. We start a regular burpee, jump up, plant the hands, feet out, kick your bottom leg through and side plank, touch your toe, feet back, in. Burpee, down, kick through the bottom leg. So this is what it looks like, fast. If you wanna slow it down, reach, plant, step out, turn, step in and reach. So you can take out the jumping. Also have the option to take out that kick through and just do a regular burpee. We have a bear plank heel press. I'll show this from the side as well. On the mat, on your hands or your elbows. We're gonna be in table, flip your toes, bring your knees so that they're about five inches off the mat. This is a bear plank. We're gonna take 15 seconds, pulsing one heel, and 15 seconds pulsing the other. Option, if that's too much, knees come down and you pulse with your opposite knee down on the ground. So you decide, knee elevated or knee on the ground, hands or elbows. We have a three point crunch on the mat, feet flat, knees bent, arms together, crunch to the center, crunch to the left, crunch to the center, crunch to the right, three point crunch. Option, hands behind head, center, Left, center, right, if you want a little more um, support for your neck. And then finally, last move, scorpion push-ups. We're down on the mat in a high plank. We take one push-up, then I take one leg, point the toe, bring it over. That's my scorpion tail. Push-up, other leg, point the toe, bring it over. So you're hitting a little bit of a side plank in between push-ups. You're gonna feel this along the sides 
of your obliques. Option from the knees, knee push up, make that scorpion tail, stay on your knees. Knee push up, scorpion tail. Those are our eight. Long-winded explanations, I will continue to give you more support throughout in terms of cueing. You've got 40 minutes of work. I'm gonna get that timer going. Your first move, eight high knees, eight butt kickers, or any combination of those. And we will get going with 30 seconds on the clock. We start in five, three, two, one, let's go. Eight high knees, eight butt kickers. So you're light on your feet here. You've got a tight core throughout. Your option is to just do high knees to level it up or just do butt kickers to level it down. You got 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds of rest. It's gonna seem like a lot right now, but as we add on moves, it's not gonna seem like a lot. So cherish this. We're gonna add on our second move. We start the same way and then add twisted prisoner squats with the option to add a jump. We'll get going in 10 seconds. Grab more water if you need it. Start with move number one. Eight high knees, eight butt kickers. Three, two, one, let's go. So you're laying on the balls of your feet here. Keep it quick. On the high knees, drive them up as high as you can. Get into the core. On the butt kickers, heel to your butt to get a little stretch to the quads. We got 10 seconds here, and then we're gonna switch it up. Twisted prisoner squats. Three, two, one. Switch it up, feet outside hips, hands behind head. Squat, twist, squat, twist. Option. Add the jump or take it out, just twist. You got 10 more seconds, earning that 30 seconds of rest. It's coming. Three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds, all for you. We're gonna add on our third movement, crescent lunge to plank. Long crescent lunge, arms up, you plant and switch the feet. Step or jump. We got 10 more seconds here. Starting move number one. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So we're spiking the heart rate at the beginning of the pyramid, and then we're gonna slow it down with some more strength moves. Listen to your body throughout. Take the level that works for you. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Twisted prisoner squat. Light touch behind the ears. Squat, twist. With or without the hop. Sink your butt low, keep your chest up. Option, maybe you take two jumping squats and two air squats. On deck, we got 10 seconds and then we hit crescent lunge plank switch. Three, two, one, switch it up. Crescent lunge, arms up, plant the hands, switch the feet, stepping or jumping. Arms always return overhead before you switch those feet. Get low. Tight core. Hit that nice high plank between reps. You got 10. Rest is coming. Let's earn it. Three, two, one. Rest. 30 seconds off for you. Next movement, wide feet. Sink low. Heel turn, plie pulse. Fifteen more seconds. 
In 10, we got high knees and butt kickers. Eight and eight, or any combination. Three, two, one, let's go. From the side, high knees like this. From the side, butt kickers. So lean back and high knees. Drive them up, lean forward, butt kickers. Keep them quick. We're controlling our breathing here. We have 10 seconds left of this high intensity move. And then we take those twisted prisoner squats. Three, two, one. Switch it up, hands behind the head. Squat, twist, squat, twist. With or without that hop. You wanna hit really good form here. Hips back, butt in line with the knees. The outside hips and get deep into the obliques. Twist the chest to the side wall. Crescent lunge plank switch. Coming up. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Crescent lunge, arms overhead. Plant, switch the feet. Option to step or hop the feet as you switch. If you hop the feet, get a little more cardio and core. In 10 seconds, heel turn, plie squat. Three, two, one. Bring it up, wide feet. Sink low, turn on your heels. So knees, trap over toes. Option, you can add a jump squat every three or add an air squat. Some ways to change up the levels. 10 seconds, rest is coming. Three, two, one, rest, grab your water. We add kick through burpee. Remember, you turn to the side plank, tap the bottom foot. Option, take a regular burpee. We got 10 seconds. We're spiking the heart rate again here. High knees, butt kickers. Three, two, one, let's go. Level five of eight. We are getting there. We are getting up that pyramid. We get stronger with each level. We work cardio, strength, and endurance at each level of this pyramid, building that stronger, better you. You got 10 seconds, and then we take twisted prisoner squats. Three, two, one. Switch it up, hands behind the head. Squat, twist. So when it gets hard, tap into the music. Tap into the reason you came to this class today. Virtual workouts aren't easy. You gotta get off your couch, get into different clothes, get into Zoom, but you can do this. Crescent lunge or plank switch. Three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Arms overhead, crescent lunge. Plank, switch out the feet. Step or hop. Fingers spread wide, sink the back leg low, back heel lifted in crescent lunge. This is where you catch your breath. You've got 10 seconds, and then we take heel turn, plie squat, three, two, one, wide feet, sink, turn on your heels, front, side, option, Add the jump squat or air squat, then sink low. So if you just stay low and turn, get a nice quad burn without that cardio. In 10 seconds, kick through burpee. Three, two, one, switch it up. We jump, plant, feet out, kick the bottom leg under, feet in, jump, Plant, feet out, go the other way. Bottom leg kicks under, reach hand to opposite foot. Remember your option. 
taking out any jumping and stepping your feet. Three, two, one, rest. Grabbing that water. Level six, bare plank, heel press on hands or elbows, bare plank, the knees hover. We're going to take 15 seconds pulsing each heel. We got 10 and we start right at level one. High knees, butt kickers. Three, two, one, let's go. Eight and eight. You can level up with those high knees, level down with butt kickers. This is where we want to get the breathing heavy, heart rate up, sweat starts to pour. 10 seconds, twisted prisoner squats, they're coming. Three, two, one, switch it up. Hands behind head, elbows wide, squat, twist. So thinking about pacing ourselves, as the levels get longer and we have longer intervals of work, maybe we start to take some modifications so that we can make it all the way through. 10 seconds. Crescent lunge, plank switch. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Crescent lunge, plant, switch the feet. Get low, plant, switch. So really lift the chest, tall posture, breathe. You have 10 seconds on deck. Heel turn, plie squat pulse. Three, two, one. Switch it up, wide feet. Get low. So the feet and the knees should point in the same direction. Stay low. My quads are burning too, but don't cheat this. Sink. In 10 seconds, kick through burpee. Option to take a regular burpee or step out your feet. Three, two, one, switch it up. We bring those hands up, out to plank, kick through bottom leg, feet in. As fast or as slow as you would like. Coming up, we stay down. We got that bare plank pulse with our heel. Three, two, one. Stay down, find table, curl the toes, press one heel up. One knee hovers, option to take it to the mat. We'll switch in three, two, one, switch legs. You have 10 seconds. Recovery is next. It's gonna feel so good. Three, two, one. Rest. We're gonna flip to our back next. Hands come together, crunch center, crunch left, center right. You're gonna be on your back. We have two more hard levels and then a long rest at the top. In 10 seconds, we start up butt kickers, high knees. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Eight and eight. So maybe this is the point where you're thinking, high knees and butt kickers are tough for me. What's another option? Jacks. That's a great option there to get your heart rate up. Three, two, one. Hands behind the head, twisted prisoner squat. Squat, twist. With or without the hop. I want you to bring up that knee as high as you can and get your elbows wide, even when you twist. 
10 seconds. Come on, stay with me. Crescent lunge to plank switch. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Crescent lunge. Plant the hands. Switch your feet. Sink and switch. Tall chest, back heel lifted. Sink low. You got 10 seconds. And then heel turn, plie pulse squat. Three, two, one. Wide feet, toes to the corners, sink. Turning on those heels. So as we fatigue, you might feel your shoulders hunching forward. Don't do it, fight against it. Use your core, stay upright. Bring your hands up. 10 seconds. We got kick through burpee. Move five, three, two, one. Switch it up. Hands up, down. You can step out your feet. Reach for that bottom toe. Step in, reach up, down. Walk out your feet. Take it the other way. That's one option to take out the jumping, take out the impact. You got 10 seconds. Bear plank, heel pulse, coming up. Three, two, one. Down and table, flip your toes. One knee is lifted, press the heel. I'll let you know in the switch. In three, two, one, switch legs, press the other heel. 90 degree at the knee. You got 10 seconds. Let that knee hover. Three, two, one, flip it over on your back. Clasp the hands, crunch center, left, center, right. Shoulder blades lift, option. Hands behind the head as you crunch to those three points. If you want the support for your neck, 10 to go. Come on, recovery is next. Three, two, one, rest. We are about to add our final move, those scorpion push-ups where you take one leg over like a tail, knees or toes. After level eight, you get a full minute of rest. It's gonna feel so good. In 10 seconds, we start the hardest part of this. Crush this part of the workout. High knees, butt kickers. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So here's the good news. This is our last time with this movement because this move is the first one to go on our way back down the other side of the pyramid. So this is your opportunity. Perfect the form here. One final time, just 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Twisted prisoner squats, hands behind the head. Squat, twist. So on our next level of the pyramid, this is the move we start with. So we feel that heart rate coming up. At the beginning of each level, you got 10 seconds. Come on, sink, push through. Crescent lunge or plank switch. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Crescent lunge. Switch your feet. Keeping your eyes forward when you hit plank. Resist the urge to look down at your feet behind you. Keep your airway open. Reach the crown of your head forward. You got 10 seconds. On deck, heel turn, plie squat. Three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Feet wide, sink. Remember, if you're leveling up, add in some jump squats. If you want to level it down, add in some air squats just to reset. Then sink and turn. We got kick through burpees coming. 
You got 10 seconds here. Chest up, shoulders back, breathe. Three, two, one. Kick through burpee. Take it up, plant, feet out. Bottom leg kicks under. Hit that side plank. Reach for your toe. See how many reps you can get in to 30 seconds while you're pacing yourself. 10 to go. Bear plank, glute pulse coming up. Three, two, one, rest. Taking it to table, flip the toes, knees hover. Press one heel. I'll let you know when to switch. 90 degrees at the knee, flex the foot. Three, two, one, switch legs. Other heel presses. You got 10 seconds, then we flip it over. Three point crunch. Three, two, one. Flip it to your back. Clasp those hands. Knees bent, crunch center, crunch left, crunch right. Option hands behind your head. Heel the shoulder blades. Lift the upper body. Tuck the chin to the chest, ribs to hips. In 10 seconds, flip it over. Scorpion push up. Three, two, one. Flip it over, knees or toes. You take that push up, one tail over, scorpion, tap the foot. Push up, other tail over, scorpion, tap the foot. Turn your chest to the side wall. Keep your hands planted on the mat. 10 seconds. You got long rest coming. Right through to the finish here. Three, two, one, rest. 60 seconds all for you. Hydrate, stretch. You are through the hardest part of this pyramid. We go down from here. So we are getting rid of that first move and we start with move two. Every level will get a little bit easier. I am profusely sweating, glistening. You're probably doing the same. We got 30 more seconds of rest here. So remember, we start with twisted prisoner squats. If you haven't yet tried to add the hop, maybe this is where you do it so that you're starting with a little bit of cardio. Totally your choice. We go in 10 seconds, backing down the pyramid. Twisted prisoner squats, feet outside your hips. Three, two, one, let's go. So this is our last time with this move. Perfect that form. That's the beauty of a pyramid. You do eight moves over and over, and each time you get a little bit better. So you can feel this in your body at this point. Your eighth time doing it. 10 seconds. On deck, crescent lunge, plank switch. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Crescent lunge. Switch out your feet. Sink, hands up and switch. You can hop the feet if you want a little more cardio here, or step them. In 10 seconds, heel, turn, plie, squat, pulse. Three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Feet wide, get low. Turn on those heels. Knees move with feet. So this is where you dig deep. You embrace the burn, but we do this to catch our breath. Kick through burpee coming up. Option to take a regular burpee. You got 10 seconds. Can you get one inch lower? I know it's hard. Three, two, one. Kick through burpee. Arms up, plant, out to plank. Reach for that bottom foot, feet in. So you're turning on the side of your foot when you kick the bottom leg through to reach. Work in the back, 
Work in the obliques. 10 seconds. Bare plank. Move pulse. Three, two, one. Into table. Flip the toes. Lift the knees. Pulse. Option. Drop the bottom knee to the mat. Or, for that challenge, can you lift it? Three, two, one. Switch legs. Other side, other heel. 10 more seconds. Three point crunch coming. We're gonna lay on the mat. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Feet flat, knees bent, arms straight. Crunch center, left, center, right. One more move to go on this level. Scorpion push up. Option with those push ups. Take out the scorpion movement and just do push ups. Totally your choice. Five seconds here. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Knees or toes. Hand wide. One push up. Take your tail over. One push up. Take the tail the other way. Feeling a squeeze in your low back, your obliques, and your glutes. You got 10 seconds. For three, two, one, rest. Grabbing your water. We are now starting crescent lunge, plank switch. Ten seconds here. Getting yourself set up. We go in five, three, two, one. Let's go. If you haven't yet tried hopping your feet, maybe you try it here. Maybe just once or twice to see how it feels. That's the challenge in this one. Hopping the feet instead of stepping. But listen to your body. If that's not feeling like it's going to work, just step. On deck. We have that heel turn. Plie squat. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Wide feet. Get low. So that was our last time with crescent lunge plank switch. Every time we take off a move, it feels a little bit easier when we start with something new. So right now, this doesn't hurt as bad as it used to. And that's because we took out all that up our lower body before. Three, two, one, kick through burpee. Jump it up, plant the hands. Kick through that bottom leg. Reach up, take it to high plank, kick under. You got 10 seconds. Then we hit our bare plank, glute pulse. Three, two, one. Stay down, find table, flip the toes, pulse one heel. Can you get that bottom knee to hover? If not, plant it. Squeeze it up. Three, two, one, switch legs. Crunches are next. Stay low here. This is a bear plank, you gotta bend in both knees. Three, two, one, flip it over. Feet flat, knees bent, hands together. Center, left, center, right. Crunch ribs to hips. Peel the upper body off the mat. Option, hands behind the head, if your neck is bothering you. Hit three different points in the crunch. Scorpion push-up is next to finish this out. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Scorpion push-up, knees or toes. One push-up, scorpion tail over. One push-up and take it over. We got a nice recovery coming. 
Keep moving. You got 10 seconds. Maybe all you want to do here is hold a plank. That's fine. Pick something and finish. Three, two, one. Rest. We're saying goodbye to crescent lunge plank switch. We start heel turn plie squat pulse. 15 seconds of rest. We go in 10. It's your last time with this one. Feet wide. Three, two, one. Get low. If you haven't added a jump squat yet, try it. So pulse, 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 and jump squat. See how that one time feels. Maybe you can keep that going for the rest of this 30 seconds. It's your last time with this move. Kick through burpee coming up in 10. Sink low. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Reach up, plant, plank. Kick through bottom foot. Doing our best to get that bottom leg as straight as possible. You got 10 seconds here, and we take it down to the mat, into that bare plank. Three, two, one. Finding table, flip the toes, one heel pulses. Kneel lifted or down, shoulders pull away from the ears. Three, two, switch. Fingers spread wide, wrists under shoulders. You got 10 seconds. We got that crunch coming up. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Clasp those hands. Crunch it up. Center. Left. Center. Right. So catch your breath. Draw the navel to the spine. Feeling the low back. Pressing into the mat throughout. Scorpion push-up on deck. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Finding that push-up position. One push-up. Scorpion tail. Crown of your head reaches forward. Eyes in front of your hands on both moves. You've got 10 seconds. Muscle through this. Come on, stay with me. Three, two, one. Rest. Grabbing your water. You have four levels left in this pyramid. Your kick through burpee. Last time we have real cardio in this pyramid. This is your final time spiking the heart rate. 10 seconds. We go in three, two, one, kick through burpee. So after this, the rest of the class is on the mat. That sounds pretty good. After lots of standing and jumping moves, we get to be down on the ground. 10 more seconds, and then we're taking that bare plank, glute pulse. Three, two, one, take it down. Flip the toes, one heel lifts. Shoulders over wrist, fingers spread wide. Option to take it on your elbows. Three, two, one, switch sides. You've got 10 seconds, then we flip it to our butt. I know this burns the quads. Three, two, one, flip it over. Three point crunch. Let's do this. Strong core. Every rep, getting your shoulder blades a little bit higher. 
Reach the knuckles between your knees. Scorpion push up, come in. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Scorpion push up, knees or toes. 30 seconds and then we rest. Keep your butt low, keep your core engaged. Back is flat. If you're on your toes or your knees, doesn't matter. Three. Sorry, that's 10. <laughs> Come on, stay with me. Three, two, one, rest. Stay on the mat, grab water. Three levels to go. And a lot shorter. We have less than five minutes in the entire workout. In 10 seconds, we take that bear plank heel press on hands or on elbows. Three, two, one, let's go. Press one heel. So 40 minutes total in this pyramid and less than five to the finish line. Three, two, one, switch your legs. Get that knee close, 10 to go. Crunches are coming up. Last time with this move. Three, two, one, flip it over. Straight arms, let's do this. Crunch. So we're really hitting the core and the arms in these last three moves. That should be what you're feeling fatiguing right now. It's okay, we got this. In 10 seconds, scorpion push up. Three, two, one, flip it over. Scorpion push up, 30 seconds. One push up, flip your tail. Trying to bring your chest to elbow height in that push up. Driving through the palms. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. We got two levels left. Crunches, push ups. Grab some water here. Less than three minutes in your pyramid. We are feeling sweaty, we are feeling strong and we are gonna finish this. 10 seconds in our three-point crunch. Feet flat, knees bent. Three, two, one, let's go. Make these your best crunches. So those knuckles pulling towards your knees, or if the hands are behind the head, really think about lifting the chest. Not pulling on your neck if your hands are behind your head. In 10 seconds, scorpion push ups. Three, two, one, flip it over. Scorpion push up. Hands just outside shoulders. One push up at the tail. Now, your option here you can just do push ups. You can just do a plank and do the scorpion tails, but keep moving. Do something active. You got less than 10. Three, two, one, rest. You have one more time with those scorpion push ups, and then the whole thing is over. Got your last sip of water. Cool down is on the other side of this 30 seconds. If you haven't tried to push up yet from your toes, I want you to try one. We are starting up in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Scorpion push up. We got fresh arms from that rest. And it's just 30 seconds until the end of this workout. We push right through to the end. We came for a challenge today. This is it. 
Keep moving, stay active. Less than 10. You got five. Three, two, one, rest. Grab some water here. And we're gonna get into our cool down. I'm gonna turn my mat so you can see me a little better. Let's take it right to a child's pose. Knees wide, sit your butt back on your heels, arms forward, forehead to the mat. Taking your left arm to the ceiling and then thread it under the right. Drop your cheek to the mat, bring your hips up a bit to get a shoulder stretch. And center yourself again, switching sides. Right arm up, threads under the left. Hips come up, forehead or cheek to mat, shoulder stretch. And release. Bring that arm front. Coming up into tabletop. Let's take some cat cow together. I'll show this from the side. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Drop the belly, look up. Curl the spine, look down. Drop the belly, look up. Curl the spine, look down. One more time. Drop and look up. Curl and look down. And finding a flat back. Bringing your left foot between your hands. Your right knee is down. Come up, hands to your front knee. I want you to sink into a runner's lunge. So think about coming forward and sinking down. Your chest is lifted, you got a tall posture, and you're gonna feel this in the hip flexor of the leg that's behind. Now take a counter stretch, sit back, straighten the front leg, bring your hands to the mat, and think about the crown of your head reaching forward as you drop your chest towards the front leg. And release. We're gonna switch legs, so now bring the other leg forward. Hands to the front knee, sinking into a runner's lunge. So come forward and sink down. And take that counter stretch, straighten the front leg, hands to the mat, crown of your head reaches forward, drop the chest towards the knee. Stepping your feet together, standing forward fold. Letting the crown of your head reach to the floor. Let your arms hang. Let your upper body hang. Take a deep breath in. And as you slowly exhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time with lots of control. Last thing to come up is your head. And take some shoulder rolls at the top. And now grab one ankle, pulling your heel to your butt, keeping your knees in line pressing your hips forward, quad stretch. And switch sides. Knees in line, heel to your butt. Option to take one hand to the side for balance. And release. Shoulder stretch, one arm comes across. Pull the shoulder away from the ear. And take that arm that's across, bring it up and over, and the foot on the same side comes behind. IT band stretch. So reach with those fingertips, getting a stretch all through the side of your body into your hip. And release. Feet come parallel, other arm across for shoulder stretch. And take that arm that's across up, that same side foot comes behind, you reach up and over. Looking over that shoulder and release. Take your feet wide. We're gonna finish with two deep breaths together. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale. One more time, deep inhale and exhale. And give yourselves a round of applause. Even though I can't see any of you, given how sweaty I am right now, I'm sure you feel the same. I hope you got a great workout. Thank you so much for coming. 
And I hope to see you guys again next week at 3 p.m. There's a slightly different way to get into classes now. So if you're affiliated with BC, there is a registration link on the Campus Rec website. And if you are not a person from BC and you're one of my people, just let me know that you wanna come and I'll make sure you get the link and the password. Happy Friday, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.